Hello everybody, Greg here from the Caddis Fly Shop, uh, Gregory Nesport Fly Fishing. I'm gonna share with you guys a very uh, easy pattern to tie, but also <laughs> so simple, it's just also so effective. And today I'm talking about the old Griffiths net. And um, if you look here, I've been tying these in size 16s on TMCs, uh, 100s all, all morning. Uh, this is a great fly pattern for the Sierra Nevada streams, the smaller creeks, the lakes. You can use it pretty much anywhere. Anywhere trout live, it's a great pattern. Uh, I'm tying it on a 16. You can tie this as small as a 22. Uh, but 18s, 20s work amazing as well. And this is when the fish are hitting the surface and you can't quite tell what they're eating. Most likely they're eating some kind of midge or they're eating um, like a gnat. Real small stuff. Uh, I'm tying this with dot Uni Thread today. It's a very simple fly, it just consists of some peacock hurl uh, and a hackle. And I'm just using a, a Whiting 100 pack, size 16 for the appropriate size hook. Uh, so I'm going to take, I don't know, four to five uh, peacock hurl. And I'm going to cut off those ends, uh, excuse me, those tips where they're really thin, like that. And I'm going to give myself a nice even tip and I'm going to come in right at the halfway point, tie those in and I'm going to come right back to the hook uh, barb right there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hackle, give myself about a quarter inch of stem right there and uh, I'm going to tie that in and leave a little bit of stem exposed on the far end here or towards the back of the hook. And I'm going to bring that back to the front. Now, some people choose to tie the hackle in first, but uh, as you'll see, I'm going to wrap um, the first wrap of peacock around it to just lock it in there to give it a nice, even or nice, really uniform butt. Uh, then I'm going to bring my thread up to the front here. Uh, you could tie a half hitch right here and use your cradle if you wanted to, but I'm tying so many of these today that I'm just trying to do these as fast as I can. You can also add some super glue right here, zap a gap or some Loctite or something if you wanted to. However, I choose because I want to tie these with speed not to do that. Uh, there's also a debate, can fish smell that glue or not? Um, I can't really tell the difference because they eat these all the time, but I'm not using glue today. Um, I'm going to pinch these peacock. I do have a rotary vise and I'm just going to wrap a nice beautiful body right up to the front of this hook and i'm going to leave myself yeah it's a little too much a little, about an eye width gap and i'm going to do a couple locking tight turns pull that back do a nice turn in front or two and i'm going to trim that off nice and close as i pull it straight up next thing i'm taking my hackle i'm going to do a wrap right on the boat back there it's going right over my peacock as you can see so it's going to grab it there it is and i'm doing pretty close wraps today guys i want this thing to float like a cork and i also want to see it and with the more hackle i just feel like you see it it's a small fly pattern but with the grizzly hackle it um i feel like it's fairly easy to see okay when i get to that point about a width or eye width behind I'm gonna do two locking turns, pull that back. One or two more locking turns. Try not to trap any of those hackles. I'm getting in there with really fine tip scissors. I'm using these uh, copter. These things are <laughs> super fine. They get in there nice and close. Trim that out of there. Right now you can take a look at your hackle, but I like to brush my hackles back. Um, if you have anything that's trapped in there, you can pick it out with a bodkin or your scissors. Uh, sometimes I'll use just a toothbrush and do this kind of thing with it. Um, and then I'm just going to do a four or five turn whip finish right here. Four looks fine. And the reason why I like the red thread is I love that little red uh, head right there. Once again, I'm getting close, cut that off. And I'm going to come in here with some hardest hole penetrator cement. I hit a little bit on both sides of the hook. Boom. Turn that around, hit the top. This is locking in the hackle. This is locking in the peacock, you name it. 
Just a little rub right there. Doesn't take a whole lot, just let that dry. And then what I take is a little trash wire that I have. Come right through there. Clear out any glue now, so that way when you're on the water, you don't need to mess around with glue clogging your eye. Uh, that's the Griffith Snat. <laughs> hyper, hyper great fly, like hyper, <laughs> it works so good. But um, tie them in size 16, size 18s. You get in there and pick some of those hackles out if you need to, but um, start tying them. Those come real quick. You should be able to tie these in a few minutes. Uh, order all the materials at the caddisflyshop.com. Uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching.